Section 12.6 is all about outliers. We're going to do everything we did in 12.5, but we're going to, in addition, we're going to look for something that doesn't fit. So here's our table of values. We're going to go ahead and copy paste a chart scatter. And add trend line, hit the arrow, more options, display equation and R squared value. Close that. So there's supposed to be an outlier here. I believe I believe it's this one way down here. Uh, so where is that one? We have to pick it out here. Mine is really obvious, it has a big negative value on both uh, X and Y coordinates. Uh, if your outlier is up here, your Y value is gonna be bigger uh, than it should be. Um, if your outlier is down here, your Y value is gonna be much smaller than it should be. So it may be a little hard to track it down. Uh, if I delete it, if you notice, that graph changed a lot. So, what I'm gonna do is repeat this whole thing, but delete that out of there. So I got my outlier out. So I still have the same values copied. I'm gonna paste them in a second time. Insert, chart, scatter, just doing everything a second time. Trend, more options, equation R squared. Thought I clicked R squared. I did, okay. So there we go, that's the difference. We can see them both. Which point is an outlier entered as an ordered pair? So I need the parentheses. So mine's 28.4 comma negative 53.1. And there needs to be a negative on both for me. Just make sure I'm on the right page. If I got, if I threw out the wrong point, I don't think I'm getting the uh, next parts right. All right, find the regression equation for the data set without the outlier. So I threw out the outlier first here. Uh, so here, I'm just gonna retype it in. No, copy and paste. I don't think the formatting is going to matter. Okay, maybe I'm not copying and pasting. 0.9141x minus 27.16. Submit. Okay. With the outlier, so I did that one second. I already have the y equals part, so it's 0.91. 39x minus 27.147. Okay, so we got those two right. I'm gonna zoom out on Excel so I can see, I can compare these two. So the question is, is the outlier an influential point? So my outlier really was kind of in line with, it's hard to see on these charts. Let me make them, if you notice the Y value here goes zero to 35. So I'm gonna take this chart, and I'm gonna spread it, make it wider so that zero, I'm trying to line up zero and 35 if I can. There we go. One of these is wider than the other one. All right, so I think I have them in a pretty similar scale here. Uh, if I look carefully, that line didn't change very much and I can actually see right here, it changed, but not much. 0 0.9141, 0 0.9139, that's pretty close. Y-intercept didn't change much either. So it was an outlier, but did it influence this line? Uh, it really didn't influence this line very much at all. Uh, so I'm gonna go with no. 
All right, you would click yes if these two equations are significantly different. You don't have to line them up visually like I did. You can just read them and just see, oh, is the slope much different? Is the y-intercept much different? And for me, uh, they were off by like not even 0.1, like 0.02 or something like that. You could subtract these two numbers and see how far they are off, but they're pretty close. So you uh, may have yes or no here. Just pay attention to these two equations.